So we're going to look at another strat for cash this time. We're going to look at A site instead of B. So this strategy only needs one smoke. This is how you throw it. You stand on top of this box here, but don't jump on the pipe. Aim at this tip of the aerial and go up to the height of this aerial right here. So round about there. Then you want to jump throw your smoke. It should block off car's view of him in. Also blocks off people from forklift falling back to like this corner here and shooting people in squeaky. So then once you through the smoke what you want to do is one of you wants to go through here and the other person wants to go through here so we'll call this guy A, this guy B. So person A wants to come into here and throw this flash. He wants to stand on this corner. Aim right about here on this vent and then right click through her. This is going to land really close to this edge and the point of that is if somebody's playing MBK just trying to hold this tight angle like you're getting the best chance of flashing them right there because if it's too wide then it'll go behind this white box and won't get them. So you throw that one to deal with that because we're not going to smoke over this way. We're going to actually clear this out with Molotovs and aim over there. So once you've threw that flash you want to quickly Molotov the forklift as soon as this flash has gone off, person B wants to open this door. Now the molly should be going out at this point and this guy over here should be panicking so hopefully he gets a free kill as he runs back or at the very least can see what he's done. This guy shouldn't really, you should wait till like the, the molotovs landed probably before this guy opens the door just when he hears the flash he knows to be ready. So then this guy comes out, hopefully some of the team are with him, like you probably want one teammate with him, so two people come out squeaky, three come out of their main maybe, something like that. Now this guy when he comes out, he's going to immediately throw a Molotov down here, over towards Quad. He can also, once he's came out of here, just flash towards Highway, stop the Highway player being able to rotate in. It's really simple, just throw them over there and stop the guy being able to just blindly run up. What you might also want to do because this guy can still have a smoke, like you, you could um you could have the guy that plays A main throw the smoke. So this guy would have one left, he could you'd already have a smoke down here, so that wouldn't be an issue, but what you could do is you could then just run and sort of throw one over there as well to try and block off the highway position, something like that. So if you uh if you knew there was a guy playing mid. So now this guy's out. He's through a Molotov, he's maybe through a smoke, he's also maybe through a flash. This guy's out, he's through a, a flash, he's through his smoke, he's through his Molotov. What he'll want to do as soon as he throws that Molotov is aim right here to stop the guy that plays quad being able to kill the squeaky guy as he comes out and throws the molly. So as this guy comes out with the molly he's going to be really exposed to someone killing him from here. So while he does that, this guy's going to cover him with a gun. As soon as he throws that molly, this guy's going to push out and start clearing. So he could jump up here. Could check here. Although there shouldn't be a guy here because they should have checked this position. So he could get up here and then he's over this smoke that's down. So because he's over the smoke, he can see the guy at car. The guy at car's probably started moving because he can't see anything. He's, he might have pushed up, which is stupid. Or he might have just held car and waited for his team to rotate in. Either way, send a HG over there, do a bit of damage. Once you've done this, you've got control of sight. Plant the bomb. Plant it right about here, this is where I like to plant. You don't have to if you feel like you don't have control over here too well. You can plant the default over here. Once you've planted, take up your post-plant positions and then the round should be pretty easy. So, if you get the site and say you, you've ended like three, um, you've got three guys left and you've got three guys left on their team or even four, what I'd like to do is, if you've planted here, you could put two guys aim in and you could put one guy squeaky. The guy squeaky can learn this Molotov that I've showed before, so what you want to do, you want to stand on this line right here and push into the wall. Once you're in here, you want to crouch, you want to aim at the bottom left corner of this arrow, and then, uh, whoops. So on this line, push into the wall, 
crouch bottom left corner of the arrow then you want to aim down to this line right here but in line with that left corner of the arrow and then a throw that gets the default plant and it gets the uh, the main plants that's really handy to know it stops you having to push out to to check the default plant if you use someone defusing so you want a guy in here you'll want to be holding like this angle with his gun or maybe even looking over at a forklift now you want two guys in here because you'll be wanting to watch behind you and the other guy can be ready with the smaller top so it's a little bit difficult to throw because you want to get past this white box and you want to bounce it off this wall so it goes something like that that also gets there, it doesn't actually look like it does but you'll see there it spreads unless they stood right in the corner it occasionally can not reach right in the corner but more often than not it will it just depends how you throw it it'll make people panic anyway and probably jump off the bomb it's just a little bit difficult to throw that high because you hit off the corner of the white box so yeah with those post pump molotovs you should be fine obviously you'll have used your molotovs to get a sight but I'm talking like if you've got um, with the teammates that are also like in comms with you, so you've got like four of his pre made or three, then these can be handy, you know. So, yeah, that was it. Hopefully, it helped. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And uh, stay around for the next one.